Hi, this is Ant Miner Repair, and uh, this is a video actually not directly replacing or repairing hash boards, but many of you have asked me to show you how I diagnose the boards and know which chip is bad. And, and agreed, that's, that's a challenge. And I, I have a method that seems to work for me. Um, I don't know if it's accurate. I, I think it is. Um, I've fixed chips knowing which one's bad. Um, so anyway, I, I have a requirement that this has to be hooked up to a 220 volt amp minor power supply for an APW9. Um, and, and there's a plug for this and, and all that. So I do have a DC power supply. So I'm gonna try to actually hook up the boards inside without a fan and only use it for, the di for diagnosing if there's chips, not actually testing hashing. So in the process of moving here, um, these things are really, really cheap. I, I don't know. You see these wires, they're just, they're just barely soldered into this board um, and kind of a haphazard job, probably as good as I can do <laughs> for that matter. Um, so what happened is I lost, I, I brought it in, hooked it all up, turned on the power switch and found out this guy was just dangling. I'm assuming it goes in here. This on the other side of this, this is one of those like power connectors like on an S9. And it looks like it's using this this port and this port because there's a piece of bare wire. So I'm I'm guessing that this is the power supply and it goes directly. You can't see it. This is the frame of it, but this is the two things of the switch on the front. Let me see if I can. I don't want to move around too much. I'll pull out more wires. Um, you got to treat it just with kid gloves here. But um, this this goes to the one side. So um, this this video kind of says, hey, I've been thinking about how to bring my testing equipment in here so that I can show you how I diagnose boards um, because it's really difficult in my garage where everything's running. It's very noisy. Um, it's just just crazy out there. You wouldn't be able to hear me. Um, worst case, worst, I'll go do it out there. With I'll set something up, but I'll probably have to voice it over. But I'm going to fix this tonight just to let you know, hey, I'm working on it. And um, if I get this together and can test my boards, I'll probably make a second video tonight. If this doesn't work after I set all this up, uh, I need a few more days. I do have a full-time job somewhere else. <laughs> I need a couple of days to try to figure out um, how to test this on video to show you guys how I do it. So if you like this content um, and, and are interested in more of these things, especially my um, hashboard repair tutorials, um, I only, I, I don't claim to be an expert. I've just learned what I've learned and I, I'm trying to pass it off to other people. Um, please subscribe. And that way you know when I'm getting another video. And also if you hit that bell on the corner, there's a notification there. And also I have a PayPal address and a Bitcoin address, a wallet address for receiving. If you wanna make a donation, I will um, try to um, keep doing these videos. I mean, it helps me buy supplies. I'm getting low on my flux here. It's getting down, it's time to order some more. So I'll do all that and I'll buy some more solder and, and um, help you guys out as much as I can. Um, I don't know, uh, the new member, he wants me to work on S9 boards. I think after you see this, it'll probably help you on an S9. Um, right now I'm working on T17 boards. However, I do have one S9 board that is broken that needs repaired. It says only find 21 chips. Sometimes it hashes, sometimes it doesn't. So I might go out there and do it. The only problem is I'm going to have to order a chip for that. It's a BM1387 and I don't have that type of chip. However, maybe we could diagnose it, which would be kind of cool. So um, it's the same principle as what I'll show you on the T17 soon. So enough of that. Thank you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and um, the first step of fixing this um, here is some soldering techniques that I learned. I'm not an expert solder, but I try to do my best. And that's we always have to tin the wire. So I'm actually going to use a little flux to help us. I'm going to put this on. And sorry about the, the lack of clarity. It's the best camera I have right now. Love to get a more powerful camera, but um, I'm going to turn on my soldering iron. I've got 350 and let's see if we can tin this. Now I have this uh, chip quick software. Let me see if I can get it down where you can read it. This is what I use to tin the pads of the chip. It's got a hundred and I think 183 or 186 melting point. I really don't want to use it on this, but my low melting point solder, I bought it too big. So this is my chip quick. Sorry. Let me see. Maybe under here. Hey. Can you read that? Kinda. I'll hold still. Let's see. 
but this wire is too big for that. And I watched this video on YouTube that said, don't use a lot of solder or big solder for that. So I'm, I'm waiting for my soldering iron to get warm. Hopefully it's gonna behave for me. Um, I also think by soldering air guns out, I'm gonna to have to buy another one. Um, I, I'm having a hard time melting solder on the boards with the air, so I think it's probably not working. So I'm gonna buy a new soldering station. Um, let's see if I can, a lot of smoke. Looks like it's dead. Okay. So I think, so if I move the camera, I think this guy's tin. It has like a little extra solder on there. Let's get that off. Okay, let me clean my line. Now, to get it on the board. So these are helping hands. I don't use them too much in hash board repair, but it's really useful right now because I have to hold this thing up so it doesn't pull stuff out. I'm going to try to heat this up. I don't know if this tip's going to be enough to do it. Let's see here. It's going to be hard to solder because it's got a big footing in there too. I'm going to have to get a bigger point. Oh, there it goes. I think I can just hold it still. Not quite happy with that. I'm holding pretty good. Yeah, maybe I'll keep that there. Let me try one more time. I'm try coming in this angle. Setting the needle on, maybe I can push them down. Just get them hot enough. Solder goes in the way. Moving the board a little bit. Let's see here. Oh no, that's pretty good. All right. Now to move this back. Um, that's. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's my video tonight. I soldered a power wire on back to a board. I'm gonna put this back together, just screwing some stuff together, make sure I don't pull any of the wires. And I'm gonna to try to set it up and if I can get my board to work so that I can push the button and I get a surge of power going through the chips. Um, I'll try to make another video. Um, hopefully I can get it close up enough. You can see what I'm doing with the test ports. So that's the video tonight, stay tuned. I'm working on showing how I test stuff. So thank you very much.